The White House expressed disappointment in the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that the Constitution protects an individual's rights to carry a handgun in public for self-defense. I was wondering, if, is the administration concerned that for whatever efforts you might make on gun legislation, we're now in an era of conservative high court that's been probably be conservative leaning for a while? Well, let me just say that we are disappointed uh, by the Supreme Court's ruling today. Uh, the Second Amendment, as you've heard the President say, is not obsolete uh, and permits common sense gun regulation. Uh, Justice Department defended New York's concealed carry law, which had been in place since 1911 and imposed only a modest burden on most gun owners. The law applied only to handguns and public places and contained an exception for people who could establish an actual articulable need for self-defense. Despite the setbacks, the president earlier urged states to continue to enact and enforce common sense laws to make their citizens and, and communities safer uh, for gun violence. Uh, as it relates to uh, what's happening in Congress right now, uh, we think that's separate and, and apart, clearly. That is a bipartisan effort. Uh, the president is encouraged uh, by what he is seeing. The culture vote happened today, uh, so it's moving <coughs> along in the right direction. Uh, look, when the president went to Uvalde, when he went to Buffalo uh, with the First Lady, those are trips that he does not want to do again. Uh, the president understands he's had a long career uh, in in uh, doing gun reform, in ending gun violence since he was a senator. We have not seen this type of bipartisan uh, uh, type of coming together to push this legislation in decades. Uh, so we are definitely uh, encouraged by what we're by what we're seeing, and the president wants them to move quickly so we could get to. His desk and he can sign that. The 6-3 ruling with the court's conservative justices in the majority and liberal justices in dissent struck down New York State's limits on carrying concealed handguns outside the home. The court found that the law enacted in 1913 violated a person's right to keep and bear arms under the U.S. Constitution's Second Amendment. The decision hands a landmark victory to gun rights advocates in a nation deeply divided over how to address firearms violence. The ruling could derive similar restrictions in other states and imperial other types of state and local firearms restrictions nationwide. President Joe Biden, who has called gun violence a national embarrassment, condemned the decision. I am disappointed in the Supreme Court gun decision. Um, there is one little bit of solace in the, uh, the, uh, the minority making up the majority opinion. So I think it's a bad decision. I think it's, I think it's not reasoned accurately, but I'm disappointed. The United States has experienced hundreds of deaths from dozens of mass shootings in recent years.